Janice, I don't assume you've ever boiled water with an ice cube, have you? No. Mm -mm. You don't. You don't look like you think it can be done. No, I don't think it can be done at well, all. Well, it can. you and I are going to do that. First of all, let's examine what's happened when something boils. What's okay. the temperature of water when it boils? 100 degrees Celsius. Yes. But most people ignore the other very important part of that, uh, that definition, sort of. And that is, they have to add at normal atmospheric pressure. Oh. Yeah. Well, think of it this way. There's air molecules bouncing around on top of the water, right? Yeah. Okay, so in order to at 100 degrees Celsius, the air pressure has to be normal because if it were greater than that, it would take more effort to bunch, pound the molecules oh, up, right? I understand, okay. yeah. And if you took away some of the pressure, it would boil at a lower temperature. Mm -hmm. You've heard about yep. people uh, have to cook at the top of a mountain. What happened? Well, the, um, the air is thinner, so the pressure is lower. Yes, and it takes longer to cook. Yeah. Because the water doesn't boil at 100 degrees. It's lower than that. Oh. So all we have to do is somehow get some of the pressure away from the top of that water, and we should be able to boil it. So here's what we'll do. We'll put the stopper in here like this. Now there's normal atmospheric pressure on the top. When we take it away, we'll let it come out just a little bit. Now we'll push it in nice and tight. So we're, now that's completely filled with steam. Mm -hmm. When the water, when the heat is away, what's going to happen to the steam now as it cools off? Well, it's, it's going to just... Condense back into water. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. If we can now lower the pressure even more, there's an ice cube. Would you mm -hmm. take it in the togs and rub it over the top of that flask? Okay. Keep it, what you're trying to do is cool off the... the um, Vapor on top. Keep going. There's See what's some happening bubbles coming up. Yeah. Now, why is that happening? Because Over the top. Because um, the ice cube is cooling. cooling the steam. It, the steam inside. Back to water, and we're lowering the pressure. Yeah. yeah. Now we wouldn't want to go on and do this too long. Okay. Because. What would happen if we kept rubbing the ice over there all the time? and the pressure would get lower and lower and lower and lower. Well, the flask would explode. Oh, no, no. The correct term is implode. Oh, the opposite of explode. Yes, and that's why I would do it in a round flask, because it's stronger than a regular kind of flask. So I think I'll take the okay. stopper out before the pressure gets too low. Okay, so now, who are you going to tell that you boiled water with an ice cube? Well, I'm going to show my friend Melinda. Yeah, thinks she'll believe you? Yeah, I, I hope so. And you can explain it? Yeah. By lowering the pressure? Mm-hmm. Good.